Has there been low points along the way? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, I mean, there are days when I don't really feel like doing anything. Not so much anymore. Like, not for the last couple years, I don't really feel that way. I've um, more so just wanted to try to do anything possible to make my life better at this point. Um, but at the beginning, there were some ups and downs. There were some really hard things to adjust to. Um First off, just like the first couple months, the amount of pain I was in was really, really hard. I mean, I remember screaming at the top of my lungs in the hospital because I thought my legs were on fire. And obviously, I can't feel anything, but it's all nerve pain. And so that was a really hard night. I asked them to give me as much pain meds as possible. They're like, you've had as much as you can have. So just kind of deal with it. Go to a happy place sort of thing. So that was a pretty low point. Um and then every now and again, it's hard, like realizing things that I wanted to do in my life that I won't be able to do anymore. Um, you know, I always wanted to be a husband and father, and I just don't think that I could do it now as a quadriplegic. Maybe it's possible, but I'm not sure I would ever um, put, you know, someone I love through that, um, like having to take care of me and stuff. Um not being able to, you know, go out and play sports. I was a huge athlete growing up. So that was pretty hard. Um, just little things too, when I realize I can't do them anymore, like there's something really special about being able to hold a book and smell a book, like the feel, uh, the texture, the smell, like as you turn the pages, like I just love it. I can't do it anymore. And it's little things like that. Um, the two year mark was pretty rough. Two years is when they say you will um, get back basically as much as you're ever going to get back as far as movement and sensation goes. And so for the first two years, that was the only thing on my mind was like try as much as I can to move my fingers, my hands, my feet, everything possible to try to get sensation and movement back. And then when the two-year mark hit, so um, June 30th, 2018 I was I was really sad that that's kind of where I was um and then just randomly here and there but I was never like depressed for long periods of time just it never seemed worthwhile to me what gave you strength my faith my faith in God uh, was a big one my understanding that it was all for a purpose. And even if that purpose wasn't anything involving Neuralink, even if that purpose was, you know, there's, there's a story in the Bible about Job. And I think it's a really, really popular story about how Job, you know, has all of these terrible things happen to him and he praises God throughout uh, the whole situation. I thought, and I think a lot of people think for most of their lives that they are Job, that they're the ones going through something terrible and they just need to, you know, praise God through the whole thing and everything will work out. At some point after my accident, I realized that I might not be Job, that I might be, you know, one of his children that gets killed or kidnapped or taken from him. And so it's about terrible things that happen to those around you who you love. So maybe, you know, in this case, my mom would be Job and she has to get through something extraordinarily hard. And I just need to try and make it as best as possible for her because um, she's the one that's really going through this massive trial. Um, and that gave me a lot of strength. And obviously my family, um, my family and my friends, they, they give me all the strength that I need. Uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. So it makes things a lot easier having that great support system around me.